Hey guys, uh, you got Pat here from Dead Man's Gambit. Uh, I'm here showcasing the Randall 300, Randall RG 303, and the Randall 412. 8 uh, ohms, 200 watts. Sounds pretty badass. The head is 300 watts at 4 ohms. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, showcase it to you guys a little bit. Clean Going straight into the amp from the guitar. If you can see that. No pedals, no effects, no anything, just me and the amp. Alright, so now let's get on the first distortion channel. It has one clean channel and two distortion channels. It's uh, channel two, which is gain, and channel three, which is gain two, and channel one, which is clean. So here's the gain. <laughs> two and then I got gain three here which honestly between gain and two and three I usually I mean one and two I usually stay on gain two almost all the time this usually also has a noise suppressor built in but I don't have it on right now because at low volumes it kind of you know fucks with the tone a little but uh, you know concert volume I don't even need a noise suppressor on my pedal board much less my rack and I mean what am I talking about rack live I don't even use a rack I mean, maybe for a tuner, but that's it if I don't want a pedal board, but then, I mean, I need a pedal board for my wah and whammy shit, but usually, I'm always using the, the noise gate on this, and then the noise gate on this, the good thing is that when you go to the clean channel, the noise suppressor gets bypassed automatically on the, on the clean channel, and on the dirty, on the two dirty uh, high gain channels, turns on, and then so... Here's the uh, high gain. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
played that song so long. Sorry, I fucked up so much. Well, yeah, so that's the High Gain 3. Uh, to me, it's a little bit more modern for that more kind of modern kind of sound. But I usually dig the, you know, channel. That's channel 2. It gives me, it gives me just enough grit. And I know, like, like I have a PV6505 Plus that has a clean channel, crunch channel, and a lead channel. And I know usually you're supposed to have a crunch and a lead channel, and this one really has two lead channels, but I like the second one best. It's the one, it's the one I'm always chunking. <laughs> oh my god, and those squeals, this thing jacked up, oh man, bleeds out those squeals. <laughs> If you want to go black, leave one in. <laughs> Nothing better. Not, this thing pumping out squeals all day, man. Like, they're so addicting. When I got this amp, I thought I squealed before I got this amp. When I got this amp, it, it, I can't stop, man. Like, it's all <laughs> so crisp and clear the sound oh my god jacked up this amp is super clean i go out in the backyard sometimes i have it like half tone and i have the neighbor coming over the fence like fucking turn it down dude i'm like hell no <laughs> oh my god and talk about searing tone man this thing oh my god it's just the bomb dude i, I didn't i didn't <laughs> There's nothing better. <laughs> Fucking great for everything, dude. Like, seriously. <laughs> Talk about Dimebag Tone, oh my god, all day. <laughs> Day, man just pumping out those oh my god and it's a solid state head uh no tubes freaking oh my god just this thing can live on forever this thing's a monster when i turn it on oh my god dude you just you just feel the presence in the room man this this cab is the perfect uh it has a i think they told me it has randall randall built speakers because randall is using their own uh factory now to build their own speakers do these things oh my god i have another randall cab older model with the celestion Celestion Vintage 30s. Oh my god, dude. 
compared side to side, man, this amp has a brighter, crisper, crispier freaking tone like this cabinet. Just, I don't know, man. Everything about this whole setup right now is just prime. Like, perfect, dude. Like, no joke. You want metal? This is it. And this is all, like, under... I don't know, you can get both of these things for the price of one PV head, dude, honestly. You know? And you don't have to sacrifice, you know, throwing out a thousand dollars in the head and having to settle for some freaking no-name $200 cabinet, dude. This is it right now. It's great. I like it. Um, my settings right now, I got the game on the uh, distortion channel all the way up over there. I got the master, vol uh, the master volume for the channel about a little less than half because you know, I'm in a room right now. This thing's 300 watts. I got the overall master at like half of a quarter. So, I mean, this thing gets cranked up, man. Uh, my EQ, I got my bass at, what is that, 3 o'clock, my middle at around 1.30, my treble all the way, my presence all the way, and then we got the, uh, the, the gate, so... <laughs> live with my band I'm honestly just running my pedal board which is a tuner phaser for some weird parts some clean parts my crybaby and my digitech whammy that was now freaking broken that I gotta get fixed and that's it I'm not running a rack I'm not running anything so if anyone thinks that I am or that this is not going straight into the amp I don't know what else is I don't know, I don't have anything going through the effects loop at all, anything. I mean, this thing is freaking... doesn't need it. What the hell do you need a freaking other distortion pedal or something? All I'm clicking down here is the, uh... I've got right here the Randall foot switch that comes with it. See that? So, that's all I'm running through it. And, uh, that's it for now. Rock out, keep it metal, guys. <laughs>